Right, it's a blustery Saturday afternoon. Me and Goose are going out in the car. We're going to look at buying a bike. And there's a reason why we've got to go and buy a bike. Goose, tell them what happened to your bike. It got stolen. It got stolen. So just before, when was it? Just before it was Christmas? The, it was the 20th of uh, December. 20th of December. Goose was doing some work. Hold on, let me get my seatbelt on. Was doing some work at his son's house. And the bike was what? I bet if I'm here to that car away. Yeah, about three. On the front door. Three doors up. He went out and the bike had gone, but lucky enough, one of the neighbours opposite got some had got some CCTV footage of it. So what I'll do, I'll put the CCTV footage up now as I'm speaking. When I edit this video, I'm trying to get my seat belt in. And then, so what happened then? The neighbour, the neighbour followed no, him, did you a, say? A neighbour down the road who just pulled up from work and he actually saw, saw him going past, pushing my bike like, You'll see on the footage anyway. Uh, and he followed him for 20 minutes on the phone to the police at the same time. So the police turned up 20 minutes later. Um, the one on the bike that was running, read off, left the other one, and they, he jumped the bike, but they, they caught him. And so he was, he was what? He was 15, one of the kids. Police found me up and says uh, they'd caught him 15. Police then says, Do you want to carry on with, like, sort of, with it? And I says, Yeah, I do. He says, I want him to carry on. You know what I mean? I says, need to be taught a lesson, are they? So, but I've heard nothing since, really, from the police. And they just says they couldn't prove... Oh, did prove, they say they couldn't prove he stole it? They says that he, uh, the video images don't prove that he stole it, but he's admitted being there. So, in other words, it, so they've got away with it and you've ended up with a massive excess to pound your insurance. But if you look at the footage, you can see that they're both messing with the bike, mm. so they're both stolen it. But we will see what happens. So what we figured out was thinking, um, well, you'll see, you'll see on that the video clip of um, obviously them breaking the steering lock off, getting his disc lock off, which I'll, I'll figure out actually how long it took them, but literally it was about a minute they got that bike away. Yeah. So we was thinking, ah, oh, that bike won't be a write-off because the police caught him with the bike. We get the bike back, but the bike was then sent to some uh, assessors, weren't they, to assess the bike? Yeah. The keys. I just need my. Details to prove that it's mine. Wally, come on, let's go. The auto recovery, trying to get Goosey's belt back. Well, mate, I've come to uh, pick up the bike if it's okay to ride. Suzuki B Strom, uh, FN17 UVW. Right, um, this is Steve, nothing wrong. Is it? Yeah. Can I have a look or? Uh, I'll be rude though, it's good because I'll fix the bike. Oh, okay. When you got the handlebars like that, yeah. the wheels like that. Oh, okay then. That's so fair enough. If you turn that way, you're going to be going straight off. If you turn that way, you're going to be going back round on yourself. Oh, that's so, fair enough I then. What they've done is they've stamped on the road, snapped the steering lock, mm. and it's messed up, it's messed all your forks and ends of the bike. Oh, okay, that's bars. fair enough then. Um, um, apart from that, I think there's just ignition damage in that seat. Did they try the ignition then? Yeah, I think they have. Yeah, so I've got a video of it, like, that my mate said, well, somebody got it off, somebody got the road. It shows you messing down by the wheel and then snapping or whatever. Yeah. It's not best to go through the insurance then? Yeah. If all the jobs get through the insurance, right? To be fair, if you're doing the same thing about the bottom, the more you can tell, it's on the way in. Yeah. It's all getting on your balls. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Excuse me. What's up? Okay then, mate. So, uh, I'll just get into the insurance and then I'll give them a while that I'll come here and... Give them my number, I'll be out with the house. Okay. If I need any photos, I'll give them a Okay, mate. Okay, cheers. Thanks very much. Have a nice Christmas, mate. Oh, sorry, is it unrideable? What? This new camera. Looks like the bike is knackered. The guy's saying all the... Uh, all the steering, uh, the wheels out to line and everything, so they have mashed it up a bit. So, I'll speak to you in a bit. Over and out. 
So right then, I've just gone to start all towers. It says I can go and pick my bike up, but the guy who recovered it says I've uh, smashed all the steering lock, all the wheels out of line. So basically, he says it's, it's unrideable. So we'll see what happens. So I'm just. Uh, I'll have to get further insurance and pay the excess of 650 and then get from there, so it could be a write-off. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. I'll get back to you soon. Bye. And now the steering lock goes from the steering, I think the other part of the lock is part of the frame. So obviously whereas I've kicked it, it's damaged the frame. So straight away they've just wrote the bike off the insurance. You know, there's nothing, nothing else wrong with that bike, but... Nine so it makes you think, is it worth putting your steering lock on? Yeah. If it's going to write your bike off. Nine times out of ten, the insurance guy told me that they write them off for that. For breaking your steering lock. So what's the point in having yeah. it on? I think they need to look at... It either needs a better design or yeah. just not bothering at all. Because that's the main thing. That, that says it's damaged the frame, so it's a new frame. Yeah. Okay, cost effective. Well, I suppose we would have to completely strip the bike, wouldn't they? Engine yeah. out, everything, that's wiring what they'd have to do. So it's class, there's... Um, what did they say? Class. Complete loss. Would it be a class B? that says it'd be a cat B. Cat B, yeah. Which is, means I can't resell the bike, but they can. It can be sold for parts. It can be sold for the tech, the parts, and, and yeah. shit out, so. So that's, that's the state of play. So what we're doing now, we're going over to West Midlands right. Motorcycles. We're going to have a look. Um, we're going to have a look at a V-Strom. So. West Midlands. We'll do some video in when we get there. And then what we're going to do is, see, this could have been, okay. I mean, Goose is in that house. And they got that bike away within about a minute, weren't they? That what? It didn't take them long, but I could kick myself because you know what? I heard it. You know what we're going to do now when we get the new bike? There, we're fitting a Sizzap tracker. Begin driving. Because that would have been it. As soon as they would have moved that bike, I would have been your out phone there. would have rung within about three seconds. You would have, you would have, you would, you would have been there before they. They got away with that but bike. But it's lucky I die actually, because I would have yeah. hit him with summer. Because if you would have lamped it and it was a minor, he would have 15, been done. I'd have lost my job yeah. probably. But you know, in the heat of the moment, I would have definitely grabbed that. Right then, so, we'll turn the camera back on when we get there. This is it here. Yep, this is it. Turn left. Here we go, West Midlands motorcycles. You have reached your destination. Yeah, I used to buy me, uh, me second-hand motorbike boots on there when I was 17. I'm not getting near. That bike, that bike ain't getting done. That ain't getting done. Well, I think that's his van. Well, right, then, let's go and have a look. So this is the place Viper had his 12th Tiger from. <laughs> Let's have a look at what he's got. That's not the one. Tins on two had one, it there. Yeah, that's what you could do from commuting to work, couldn't you? I bet you could, I bet you could whip that. Well, let's have a look inside. It is nice, isn't it, that one? Have you come to see one of the DLs, have you? No, I'm looking at that one, I'm live. Yeah, yeah, no problem. His was pinched just before Christmas. Okay. So, um, he's obviously got his insurance when he wants another V-Strom. I mean, if you, I mean, if you want to just... Just pull it down upstairs for five minutes and we'll just get it out. You don't take yeah, two minutes. That. I mean, I appreciate the size. It's quite light, actually. Yeah, the size, isn't it? Carbon fibre, it? Mm. HJC's. Yeah, so what they're doing now, I'm just going to get get the bike out so Goose can have a look at it. So we thought we'd come up. Come up here and have a look. It's a fair few helmets, isn't there? Yeah. I bet Lloyd like it here. He looks like about six helmets a year, doesn't he?
colour looks wicked, doesn't it? It is a lovely colour. Oh, isn't it? I don't think so. Maybe they did away with it. I like that seat as well. Yeah, you've just got your bar for the sat nav. Oh yeah, there's, yeah, it's got USB there. So you could run that to your tech bag, Just charge your phone. Yeah. It's a nice display on it there. Is there any leeway in the price or? So I'll have another one to look at. Right, so at the minute, the best he could come down to is, it's up for 7.5, then he said he could come down to 7.4. He could take 100 off, so I think it's a bit of a thinking process. Yeah. But we will continue. So, it's Saturday, 27th of January. I'm gonna go over to Goosey's because he's going to pick up his bike. So we managed to do a deal at West Midlands Motorcycles and he's had the black and grey V-Strom. He got it for 250 pound knocked off, so we're gonna go and get that now. So I'm gonna go and pick him up, get the bike, and then we'll put the cameras on him on the way back so we can talk to you about the bike. So we'll see you there. No bike, just an empty garage. Hopefully, today, should have my new bike. So Maverick's picking me up in a minute and we're just going to get my new bike. Well, new to me, as mine's been nicked. Insurance is paid out, put a little bit extra. See you later. Here we are, we're at Goosey's. We've come to pick him up. We're taking him to get his bike. In your own time. Where are we going today, Goose? Get me a new bike. Yeah, oh, yes. At last. All right, so this is Goose's garage. He's in the process of... Oh, you've started boarding, eh? Mm. We've got... There's his old... There's his bandit. It needs to oh, he did under there. The right, so we've already got him some accessories. <laughs> so, we got... This is that tracker to fit. We got his. Oh, they look good actually, don't they? Yeah, got his spotlights. So that's his. We got spotlights. Oh, yeah. Sizab tracker. Um, oh, yeah. Engine bars. I'll do a video when I get back of them anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Goose is having that. The seven inch carpet screen. Yes. He's gonna have that. And what's that? Belly pan. Belly pan. I don't know. Yeah. So, so he's got all his bits ready. It's like Christmas. Good tomorrow after. Right then, let's go and get it. My, uh, we need that, don't we? Yeah, take that. So what have you got? You got a spanner then to put it on. That spanner puts that silver nut in there. Let's just make sure before. Yeah, that'll do. Way. Yep. It's 11 mil, that's what I was trying to 10 mil, it wouldn't fit. So it's an 11 mil. So what you gotta bring, you gotta bring your bike. Oh, you gotta bring your bike gear, ain't you? I don't need that then. No, I've brought you, yeah, I'll film it on this. I've brought yeah, my, I've, Ricardo on your, most of Yeah, Ricardo's oh, on it. Use you on well, oh, actually, so bring you yours, so I can program it to that. I yeah, get your card out. So I, I've got to set that up tonight for my arm. So that's the only remains left of his old V-Strom. Is his old top box, but 
but his new one's got a top box with it. So he's nearly ready. Um, get it all sorted, get the accessories on. This should have some protection on it. That's the important one, the tracker. If he had one of them, we wouldn't be making this video. Because his bike probably wouldn't have got stolen. Right, we'll see you at the dealership. Well, here we are. Goose has gone into pay. There's his bike ready for him. Look at that beauty. So his insurance is done. He's got to tax it. Where is he? He's in there somewhere. There he is. There you go, he's got a decent top box on it. So what we're going to do, Goose is going to wear my helmet on the way back when we go pro on. We're going to put his carpioid screen on it now. And also put the forward facing camera on it. And then he can ride it back and talk about the bike on the way back. Right, so we'll get it paid, we'll get it taxed, and we'll start fitting the accessories on it. Right, Dan. Seems a little bit higher than mine, but my old one. I like the screen, nice and digit. Oh. So, yeah, right. So I've got my new bike after mine was stolen. I was going to follow Mav back to my house. Um, I'd like to thank the wife for sorting it again. She got it for a better deal than I could get it. Thank Mav for bringing me here and sorting my stuff out. And also the guys, for because I had this bike, I said I'll just have because I paid more than I... I wanted to really I couldn't really afford to get the uh, the extra bits well I could but they had a way to be and just like to say thanks to all the guys in my who's chipped in and bought me my crash bars and whatever what else did they buy well all the stuff they all clubbed together and bought for me so I appreciate it I will pay them back they know that with some gesture probably a clip round here all that way. Oh yes. Glad to be back on the bike. As I was saying, thanks everyone <coughs> for sorting me out with the stuff on Malta Rev. And for Mav for bringing me over and helping me look for the bike as well so right it's got to adjust the mirrors brakes feel a lot better actually than my um, other strom so yeah quick rundown which you might already Mav might have already put it on the video but on the 20th of December somebody nicked my bike so insurance paid out last week didn't do too bad to be fair on it but still uh, I had this V-Strom two, two years ago and I still just paid me out the same what I paid for it minus my um, excess which I thought was fair enough so yeah, so now I've picked this one up, all sorted, back on the road, a bit easier for me for work. Oh, it turns better actually, right, let's just have a quick feel of the bike, so as we're going along, my feet are in a nice comfy position, but I've actually heard 
a lot of people say that when they put the feet down it catches on the back of the it's not a very good but i don't mind that anyway so yeah just feel the bike actually feels lighter but that's probably because i got the crash bars on or anything yeah second gear feels lovely because on my other strum it was very clunky as i've just pointed out but yeah it feels nice feels lighter that's a I just feel really light just gotta get used to this digital clock as well it's got the sort of look gear indicator in the middle so, as far as we can do a video but that's just me getting used to the bike to be fair Used to it, it, to be honest, it's it does feel better than my other stone, it's probably a newer model, that's why. But and it seems a bit more agile, to be fair. So, yeah, riding position is fantastic for me anyway, because this is I like this position. Um, I might, I'm getting a little bit of wind off it, but. See what I can do with a screen. Might need a big, I think a bit bigger screen. My other V-Strom seem to be, the screen seem to be like a foot, a foot above that. It does seem to turn nicer. But yeah, let's go back to my riding position. Perfect for me. What can I say? It's got the uh, low assist. I think it's revs. So if you're like creeping along, Apparently, they're very hard to store the v strums with, with this on. This throttle assist, I think it's called. And I've got this car Apple Play thing on, which uh, I've sorted out as he got to review it already. So, and he's had another one, and he's uh, gave me this one which will be better for me I can link the phone as you can see it's got ways on which I like to use anyway but lovely I'm mumbling that's what you'll say he's mumbling again but I do like the colours of it when we see it online I think uh, Viper actually seen it when he went to this uh, motorcycle shop and he pinned some photos on the group and as soon as I seen this one I thought that's nice that's unusual colour so yeah I'll just have a give it a, a deep clean and I've actually got some um, I've ordered some ceramic spray I'm going to try out from Auto Bright so we'll, we'll try that because I'm riding it through the winter it'll be interesting to see how uh, that copes with my winter riding as well but yeah even the pegs I got the rubber on I don't think my other one my other V-Strom had the rubber I could have done no I don't think they had these I've got like proper rubber things on it stops the vibrations in your feet but so far I mean I've only just rid it round the corner so I can't really uh, but compared to my other Strom, which I did love that bike, this just feels lighter. I don't know if it is a lot lighter on paper, but it feels a bit slimmer. I don't know if the tank, the tank, don't see some void on it. It's got to be, as, I don't know if the smaller tank or what. I know it does 20 litres. I think my other one doesn't. Just don't feel so big. Actually feels more compact. Front brakes are nice and sharp. Feels I feel like I'm a little bit higher on it, but I'm like a tippy toey on it, so I don't know whether um, I can adjust the seat on it. So I'm back. I'm just so happy. I'm back on the road. So I think not many people knew I had my bike stolen. We sort of didn't um, publicise it much, to be honest. 
but it did stress me out. I mean, when you have your bike nicked, oh my god. Well, it's a good job I did get out there because I would have probably uh, grabbed out of grabbed out of the person or two, and then that would have probably been me probably suspended from work due to the age of this kid so they both come along on a nick bike as you'll see in the other previous video um, snap my lock off this lock I don't even know how they've done that it's quick and pushed it pushed it along with the other bike Luckily enough, a neighbour down the road, outside my son's, he followed him on the phone to the police. They actually caught the one on the bike that was running, drove off. The other one, they caught with the bike. And um, police found me up, basically, and said they caught somebody, got me bike, impounded it, whatever. Took it to the salvage yard. And then um, they sort of says, do I want to carry on with, like, for the police to carry on and press charges or whatever that I'm going to do and I says yeah and then they turn around to me and say that um, we can't prove that he pinched the bike he's admitted he was there but the the video blatantly shows you that he's touching the bike so he's, he has pinched it so I don't know if there's some loophole but it's just ridiculous and I'm never going to stop this crime but I think the manufacturers should do something with the way the uh, steering lock is fixed because apparently nine times out of ten bikes will have the steering lock snapped it's a write-off due to the frame damage so I really and I'm costing us a lot of insurance because every bike's being written off for that reason it's ridiculous yeah, so anyway, so if I'd have got out there, because I know I would have grabbed out of these, these people and took a few swings, whatever, then they would have probably turned round and says that I've hit a miner. Not a, like a coal miner, a miner. And then because I work with kids, I would have been suspended and probably sacked. So you just got to be so careful in what you do because when the adrenaline's pumping but I could kick myself because I had a motorbike and because I was parked a few doors up and I was doing a job for my son I'd, and I wanted to get this job done because I'd been there for a bit usually I, if I had a bike I look out I would have actually seen him and I would have catched catched all of them before they'd done any uh, real damage so I could kick myself for that but I suppose it's lucky I, d I didn't do it because we could have been like, I would have probably been arrested for strangling a miner. But anyway, back to the bike. Feels nice and comfy as usual. Seat. Yeah, suspension. All right. It's clean, I know that. Well, to be honest, it ought to be. The wiring's a lot rooted a lot better than one my other one. I just don't seem to actually just I'm just don't seem to bulk here's my other one. I just keep looking at it. So yeah, I've got a few things, I've got a Sizap tracker, which the insurance companies don't blooming uh, really recognise how so you can get a discount. But it's the only tracker that you don't have to subscribe to. You don't have to get pay a monthly fee. So you can it sends you alerts on your phone. I think Maverick's done a video on it, so he sort of got me a tracker for this to put on. Bit of peace of mind, I suppose. Since you've only got to move the bike and it'll go off. So how right, many people that buy me or buy me stuff I just can't believe that the guys have all put together and just uh, sort of help me out so 
if any of the guys need a helping hand anytime, I'll be available for you anytime. I'll keep expecting now. Oh yeah, burst of power then. So we've got the power. Just feel a bit more lively. I don't know what settings it's on. So it was up for seven and a half grand. Um, and I've got a little bit of money but I haven't really got that much to afford it so my wife we tried me and we ain't got no uh, bartering skills so the wife found them up and, and she got 250 knocked off which is better than 100 so she sorted that out and you know so but then it was like, I need this, I need that, I couldn't really justify <coughs> saying to the wife, Oh, look at this, and no, no. You've just had a new bike and you're buying stuff, so the guys know how it works. So I still appreciate, I still can't believe that they all chipped in. So thanks again, guys and Mav, for breaking their arms and prizing a bit. Now I'm only joking. I know the door gives we now asked but they shouldn't have done it I felt bad about it to be honest but I will treat them all no problem but that's it with us lot if anybody needs anything or any problems we're always there for each other so yeah that's how it should be how uh, many people like that nowadays that help each other out? It's me, I prefer Suzuki's, that's just me. Right now I'm have, he likes his Hondas. So, Piggy, KTM, Roy. I think he's had an... Oh, he likes Suzuki, yeah, he likes on. he likes anything. Uh, Vic. <laughs> Vic likes any bike for about two weeks. And then he changes him. But he's on a he's got his, his Kawasaki so he's happy with that one at the moment. He ain't gonna change that one, so watch his space. He's happy with this one now, never gonna swap this one. He says that about the couple of triumphs he had as well. Best bikes he's ever had then three weeks down the line. He's swapped. So yeah. I'm just trying to think what else. I mean We've got a couple with BMWs, Noodles and Jester. They like the BMWs. It's a personal choice, really. I do like... I just like Suzuki's. And I read up about the V-Strom and it says it's a, like a it's like a budget adventure bike, really. So... And the servicing costs say nothing like BMWs or anything, so... It suits my pocket. Spotlights, I've got spotlights. Crash bars. Uh, belly pan, Sizap uh, tracker plus this. So yeah, with this Sizap trapper, I just trapper tracker. Um, I think it just give you a piece of. You can put them on cards. You can put them anywhere really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it, and and the actual uh, little part to it. I'm going to try and put it in a really awkward place because if they do actually chop the wires and they found out there's a tracker on we've still got four hour um, built in battery so even though they'll cut the wires it'll still blip up so you've only got to move the bike I think uh, Mav says that the wind blew his bike the once and it showed up on his uh, phone alerted him there's multi ways you can do it but I'm just thinking these these trackers and with no yearly subscription as well just a bit of peace of mind for yourself let's go talk to Dick, Dick White Cracker Bill's lighter, this does yeah Bill, you'll have to have a go when you get back just stick my coat on if you want, got the army just take it up the road, take it up that road, come back it feels a lot I think because I ain't really gone fast. That's oh, this is good. I'm on about this screen. I'll have to because 
my other one I could just about see it. this one's about a foot smaller so I will have to invest in one oh actually might as well stay by the side it does look small it does look small because my other one was probably yeah, easy. up there so I think so I don't think you can alter that any higher because then you'd have that gap of the wind coming through there so sounds quieter feels lighter a lot lighter I don't know if that's it just it all seems to bulk here as well I don't know feels nice actually you better once you've got all the bits on it yeah yeah it's nice and it's a lot more like tidier I think the front on mine was it come up to here a bit bulkier feels like you know when you go into them on there but I couldn't I don't know I don't know if they were coming on I don't know how you turn them on oh so I'm just happy that everything's worked out because when the bike got stolen I was proper stressed I thought what's going to happen and the insurance is going to be our souls and you will see this getting ripped off by the insurance companies but to be honest that was really good I was with uh, Devit Insurance and and they gave me what I paid for the bike two years ago which was five grand minus my excess well we're back at Goosey's he's got the bike he should be coming any minute Yeah, good. That goes off with that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah I've got the grips on as well. Hip back. <sighs> nice, eh? That's good, that does. Yeah, Is that a new yeah. bike? <laughs> <laughs> Happy new bike. New bike day. So the screen was okay. Huh? Like, up a car play screen's okay. Yeah, yeah, so. There we go. He's one happy boy. Woo!